This tutorial is on measuring capacity and the units that we use to measure capacity. The basic one is litres in the metric system and then there's millilitres, kilolitres, megalitres and there's more than that as well. But they're the main ones that we use, particularly millilitres, litres and maybe kilolitres. Okay, here are the relationships you need to know. You may not know all of these, you might. But one litre is 1,000 millilitres. One kilolitre is 1,000 litres. And one megalitre, you can see it's got a capital M, whereas millilitre's got a small m. So one megalitre is 1,000 kilolitres. And it's also worth knowing that one megalitre is one million litres. Okay? So they're the relationships you need to know when we're converting. And when you know those relationships, you need to decide if we're timesing or dividing each time. Okay, here's question one. There's the question there. Pause, have a go at it, and press play when you're ready. Okay, we're going from millilitres to litres. So the relationship, one litre equals 1,000 millilitres. So we're going to use 1,000. And there's a thousand times less because we're going two litres. Millilitres are very small units, so there's lots and lots of them. Litres, there'll be less. So when there's less, we're dividing. So we divide by 1,000 and get 0 0.6 litres is the answer. And just so you're aware of what we're talking about here, it's like one of those milk cartons is 600 millilitres. So one that's a bit bigger than your hand. Not the smallest size, but the one up from that is 600 mils. Okay, question two. There it is. Pause, have a go and play when you're ready. Okay, we're going from kilolitres to litres. So the relationship we're using is one kilolitre is a thousand litres. All right, so kilolitres are just like kilograms or kilometres. It's got the same relationship. So one kilometre is 1,000 metres. One kilogram is 1,000 grams. One kilolitre is 1,000 litres. So kilo means a thousand of. Okay, so you know, if you don't know much about kilolitres before this, just think of it like kilometres and kilograms. So it's a thousand litres. We're going from kilolitres to litres, so there's going to be more litres. A thousand times more. So he times by a thousand and get 312 litres. Okay, question three. There it is, have a go, pause now. All right, so this is a gigalitre, all right? Two gigalitres. Now, I didn't show you that back on the first screen, just to see if you had some prior knowledge about gigalitres. And I'm not sure that you would Maybe you do, maybe you don't, but a gigalitre, it's a bit like um, computers and, and the size of space on computers. So it's like gigabytes compared to bytes. This is gigalitres compared to litres. So just think about when you're doing these conversions, you're not sure. The system's all set up the same. All right, so gigabytes and gigalitres, it's the same relationship between the things. So we've got bytes and kilobytes, megabytes and gigabytes. And every step is worth a thousand. Okay, so there's a thousand megabytes in a gigabyte and a thousand um, kilobytes in a megabyte and so forth. So every jump is worth a thousand. You can use that to work it out. So every little jump is a thousand. It's the same here with our units of capacity. Every jump is a thousand. So if we go from gigalitres, we've got three jumps to get to litres. A thousand times another thousand times another thousand. When you do a thousand times a thousand times a thousand, you get one billion, nine zeros. All right, so litres, there's going to be a lot more of them, so we're multiplying. So two gigalitres times one billion. The answer is two billion litres. So just something a bit different there to throw at you, to think sometimes, you know, we can, we can look at other ways of converting, look at other units. In this case, I gave you the example of computers. Okay? The metric system is set up like that. You can sort of move between and, and study the relationships and then transfer it across. 
All right, question four. There it is. Have a go when you're ready. Okay, megaliters to liters, the first one. There's a million liters in a megaliter. So there's a lot more liters. So we're timesing. 9,000 liters. And the other one, 0.2 kiloliters times by 1,000. There's 1,000 liters in a kiloliter. So that's 200. So we've got to evaluate it. So work it out or work out the value. So we just add them together now that they're both in liters. So the answer is 9,200 liters. All right, I thought I'd give you some questions and take you through some questions on the bigger units today because you don't often get a chance to use those bigger units and sometimes they're referred to if they're talking about the level of a dam right, that's, that's giving a town its drinking water. They might talk about megaliters, for instance. Gigaliters is probably a very, very large dam or moving into lakes and things like that. Okay, so I just thought I'd expose you to those sort of questions. But now it's time for you to try it out in Mathletics and you'll find that that's back to smaller units that you're probably more familiar with. Okay, so have a go at that now. Thank you.